Hi, it's Maria here again with tip number two in our series on how to strengthen your own empathy muscle. As you know, I'm a brand strategist. I'm also the author of my most recent book, The Empathy Edge, harnessing the value of compassion as an engine for success. And this could not be more relevant now than ever before. We are dealing with some trying times and finding the compassion, finding the empathy is something that we have to do intentionally and we have to dig deep. So what are you doing with your colleagues, with your coworkers, with your teams to ensure that you are taking care of everybody with a very compassionate lens? I want to point out something I didn't talk about in yesterday's video, which is that empathy is not the same thing as giving in. It's not the same thing even as being nice. Empathy is a mindset. It's being able to look at a situation from someone else's perspective and understand their point of view and use that information to drive your reaction and your action. When you do that, often that action or reaction is much more compassionate than it would have been if you'd only looked at things from your point of view. So when we're talking about empathetic, an empathetic mindset, it doesn't mean that you're not gonna have to deliver hard news to coworkers, to your teams, to your customers, to your board, but it does mean that you can do so in a way that is compassionate, that is supportive, that makes people feel seen, heard, and understood even when you can be delivering the worst news possible, which I hope is not what's happening in your case. But our tip number two on strengthening that empathy muscle is to listen more and stay humble. Again, really easy to say, but how do you do it? How do I do it as a redhead and an Italian? Well, I don't always do it well, but the idea is to keep your mouth closed and let the other person talk because I'll tell you something, when you let someone else talk, they will actually tell you what your, their point of view is. They will tell you what you're, they're thinking and feeling if they know they are in a space where someone is listening to them. So you wanna be listening more right now and talking less. And the reason I have stay humble as part of that is because it's also looking at it when you're listening, stay humble, stay open to the fact that you might not have all the answers. You might not know what that person is thinking and feeling. You may have no idea what their perspective or experience or context is. Even if they're being very emotional or angry or belligerent, you still need to listen so that you can try to suss out the context and suss out what is most important to them. Then you can take action to address their needs and make it a much more productive conversation. So be able to open your ears and not from a like, I'm just waiting for you to finish what you're saying so I can say what I wanna say, but go in and listen actively, listen openly, put your phone down, stop looking at your laptop. As we talked about in yesterday's video, being present has a lot to do with able, being able to listen more and stay humble. Be open to the fact that you don't have all the answers, and that someone could be sharing something very important with you that might inform the decision that you're about to make. So I hope this is useful for you. I can't wait to come back with video number three, but in the meantime, stay, stay, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay sane. Take care. Mm -hmm.